we are at the end of February in 2016, and we're working on a couple of lamps, our iris lamps, which are unique to Preston Studios, our original new designs. And at the same time, we're working on an entrance we created 12 years ago. We generally don't do repair work, but we repair our own work. And this is an entrance we did 12 years ago, and evidently they had an accident in the foyer, and we have to repair this particular piece that is first day is that the entire piece has to be scored so we can break it out to remove it. So we can take the broken piece out, cut a new piece, and then replace it. stage is that the pieces have to be broken out. This is a delicate process. You don't want to break any pieces adjacent in case you're trying to get out. Okay, now we're on the, the next phase and we have to remove the old solder and the foil around the very edge. So this is a, a three hand operation to get this done. And now that we remove the glass and the solder, our next phase is to develop a pattern. Lay this out on the glass and then cut the glass to fit this shape. So now Jerry's tracing the pattern onto the glass so he can cut it. Sometimes the glass has to be adjusted in the ground to fit. Okay, the next part that we have to do is actually applying the copper foil. This is, after all, the copper foil technique. This is a self-adhesive tape, and it goes around the edge of each and every piece of glass in the design. So we have to put this all the way around the edge so that we can solder over this. And the solder is what holds the whole work together. We'll be showing the soldering after we get the copper foil on. Larger pieces present an interesting challenge sometimes to getting the foil on. Evenly. Make sure we have it smoothed down on both sides. It in place with a little bit of 
have to apply a chemical flux to make sure the solder adheres to the copper. This is a water-based flux, so it's fairly easy to work with. Okay, now we have to actually solder it together. solder, which as you can see is quite shiny and silver. Once we solder both sides, then we'll put a black patina on it, which will turn it black. But this is what holds the work together, is the 50-50 solder on the copper. We've well, soldered the front side now, and now we have to solder the back side as well. mentioned earlier are, are iris lamps. Uh, iris lamps were not generally done by Tiffany and company at the time uh, over a century ago. Um, so we try to do things that Tiffany and company and his competitors never got around to doing and irises are one of those flowers that they neglected. This particular one is going to be blow and we've already prepared the bottom border for it. So we have yet to fill in the background and complete this one. It's on the mold. And uh, over here, we've also got a, a cone, a small cone. They're both small 16-inch lamps that we're working on, to, uh, which will be quite similar to this larger 18-inch uh, that we completed some time ago.